guys, this is not a game. Like, we need to have games. Where's the game, Google? What's up guys, Sam here back with another video. Now Android O is closer than we think. So in today's video, I'm gonna be flashing the developer preview number four on my Nexus 6P. Now let's check out Android O and all the new features it has to offer. All right, let's get into this. All right guys, so this is my Nexus 6P. Right now I am rocking the Resurrection Remix ROM. The version I'm on right now is 7.1.2 as you can see there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flash Android O, all right? All right, now to do this, it's recommended that you wipe everything. If you're on a custom ROM and you wanna go to stock, it's best to wipe everything, just start from fresh, all right? All right, it's pretty much it. It's gonna wipe everything. If it doesn't or you get an error, just boot into the recovery menu, wipe the phone and start it up, all right? Now we can reboot from here. So type in fast boot, reboot, and watch it boot up. All right, now this might take a while because it's the first time booting up after flashing all those files. So just be patient and sit back and wait for it to do its thing, all right? If it takes about 15, 20 minutes, then you know something is wrong and you should just jump into the recovery mode, wipe it all and start up again. All right guys, so I noticed that it didn't boot up and it's saying that it can't load the Android system and you should do a factory data reset. Now, normally I would flash the user data to erase everything, but there was no user data in that particular file. So let's go ahead, scroll down here and click the power button. Scroll down for yes, click the power button. And this will actually wipe the phone because you really do need to wipe the phone before you do this. I could have just went into the recovery system, but I wanted to see if it was gonna work. But yeah, just wiping the data will fix everything. As I said, if you're coming from a custom ROM, then you're gonna definitely need to wipe the data. If you're on stock and wanted to update, then this should be no problem. But I was on a custom ROM, so I need to do this before it would boot up, all right? All right guys, so it's back up. I'm on Android O. As you can see, if you just scroll down, you'll tell the difference. Notification panel is different. The quick settings menu is different as well. And I do have the swipe left for the Google Now cards, as you can see. Now I am on the Google Now launcher with these big ugly icons. Now I actually don't like this launcher anymore. I do prefer the Pixel launcher. So what I'm gonna do is once everything is installed and set up, I'm gonna install the launcher launcher. Now essentially what that is, is a Pixel launcher that's customizable. I did a video on it some time ago and I'll link it below in the description. But basically you can install different icon packs and change up the UI pretty much. Now as you can see, it's a Nexus 6P right here and I'm on Android 8.0.0. July 5th patch. As you can see, the build number right there is OPP4. Let's jump in and see what this Android O has to offer. And you have an octopus. All right guys, so what are the odds that it changes its name from being sweet and treat to being animal? So instead of Android Oreo that some of you guys might be thinking, it's actually Android Octopus. Like, what are the chances? So yeah, um, I'm gonna play around with this for a few hours and check out all that's new with the DP4 and get back to you. All right guys, so I'm back and I did get a chance to play around with Android O for a while. Now I did away with the Google Now Launcher and I now have the Launcher launcher on my phone. So everything is up running the way I like it. Now I gotta say, I did miss stock a little bit, especially Android O with these new features. 
So what I want to do right now is talk about some of the top features that I absolutely love in this current version of Android O. Now right off the bat, one of the first things I noticed that was new is the whole password autofill. This makes setting up your phone really easy. Now if you're someone like me that wipes your phone constantly because of a new update or a new custom ROM, then you're definitely going to love this feature. So basically what this does is if you have installed a new app and you're about to put in your username and password, Google will remember it from the first time so that the second time you're doing it, it'll just autofill. Now this is very handy for someone who often forgets their password or if you have a bunch of different passwords for different apps or websites, all right? So I really love this feature about the new Android O. Now the second thing I noticed in this current version of Android O is a new set of emojis. All right, now I did like the blob, long live the blob, but these new emojis are, in my opinion, a little bit more animated than the last ones. And I did hear that Google is trying to unify the emoji language so that older versions and newer versions of Android will be able to share emoji across the platform. Now, my favorite feature of Android O has got to be the picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now, the last time I took a look at Android O, this feature was not available as yet. However, now it is available and it works perfectly. Now before I was wondering how do I enable this, maybe you had to go in the settings menu or something. But last night I was on a duo call and I entered another app and it just popped out. So I really like this feature a lot. Now I do video call a lot and sometimes I want to exit out, go into another app, but keep the video call going. So I really love this feature guys and I'm sure you guys will too. Now one of the new additions to Android O that I really like is the overall UI. To me it's very clean and polished. And it's very organized in my opinion. If you go into the settings menu, it's very easy to see what you're looking for. If you go into the battery settings real quick, it'll give you a summary of everything. It gives you the last time it was fully charged and it gives you screen usage since that last time it was charged. Everything is pretty easy to read and understand and I do love that about this new update. Now one thing I noticed that I didn't like was when I had to charge my phone. Now it does say charging rapidly, however at the bottom it says four hours to charge. Now, I'm pretty sure this is not accurate. I don't know if it's a bug or something. Sometimes I take it out, put it back in, it would say the correct time, but I don't know. That's something to look out for. I'm not sure if it's just my phone. Let me know if you've experienced this in the comment sections below. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for Android O with this new preview. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know by smashing the thumbs up button down below. If you have any features that you really like in Android O, if there's something you think I left out, let me know in the comment sections down below. As always, guys, you've been awesome. My name is Duck Coin, and I'll catch you in the next video. Zine.